<clears throat> Welcome to another topic video. This one is on the Marvel canceled uh, the Marvel titles that ended so far this year. <clears throat> now, in the past three months, we've had several titles. Last month, we had a bunch of titles, and you know, I do mean a bunch. In the first month of the year, January, we had Squadron Supreme end. Just Squadron Supreme. That's it. It's a James Robinson title. Fantastic title. Too bad that when it ended, it led to, excuse me, excuse me, two titles have since been canceled, Hyperion and Nighthawk. Excuse me, both canceled, there's only six issues published. Yep. And then February, we had Karnak, which I don't really count this one as canceled, because the, this issue received serious, serious delays. It released six issues in just, I think it was like, uh, about 14, about 16 months, almost a year and a half. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what the heck was up with Warren Ellis. I mean, this is the second title I have ever seen him on where it actually receives delays. The only other title that comes close to this is, um, <clears throat> of all titles, it is, um, uh, Astonishing X Men. Yeah, this title received delays as well. Though it was after his first arc, it received serious delays. Yeah, I don't know why this is the second time this has happened for Warren Ellis, where a book he's on receives received serious delays. But I don't really count this one, because this final issue was supposed to come out the previous year. But no, and Marvel kept delaying it, delaying it, and delaying it. Yep. And also, a title that I have been buying, I bought almost a good chunk of the series, another Robinson title... Scarlet Witch ended after only 15 issues. I'm like, really? This is the third title that, at this point, this is the third title Robinson has been on where it's ended after only 15 issues. And since it's ended, the only title that he's going to be do, doing right now is Grand Passion. And I think that's ending this month. And I think the next title he's going to do was Cable, which I'm looking forward to that. But come on, Marvel, can you stop canceling his? Uh, the titles that he goes on after only 15 issues. The only title I can think of that, that he did that wasn't canceled 15 issues was Fantastic Four. It at least published uh, 18 issues. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, let's see. And of course we have last month. We had several titles get canceled last month. Basically, these following titles got canceled in the month of March. Solo, Foo Killer, Prowler, Uncanny X-Men, though I don't think that title's been for long, Extraordinary X-Men, all new X-Men, and I think that's it. Yeah, as far as I can tell, I think that's it. Six titles. Oh, and uh, Uncanny and Humans. A lot of whom got canceled the last week of the month. Um, in the case of some of these titles, um, three of whom were relaunched, uh, would replace titles. Like, Extraordinary was relaunched as X-Men Gold, all new was relaunched as X-Men Blue, and Uncanny Humans are launched as the Royals. Um, good titles. Just that I don't know why Uncanny Humans had it. And it was a fantastic title. I love the title. I own the first few issues. It's a great series. And Charles Shaw himself did a great job with it. I mean, he had been writing Humans for the past four years. And it's just too bad. Marvel just ups and cancels a good title. Um, of course, the previous year they canceled the other Humans title. Uh, all new in humans after only publishing 11 issues. But some of these other titles like Solo and Foo Killer, yeah, these titles got canceled only publishing five issues. Though Foo Killer, I should point out, the Foo Killer that was in that book was actually the one from the cult classic series uh, uh, from the 90s. Yeah, the one that lasted 10 issues, the one that people were begging Marvel to put into a trade. Yeah, it's the same Foo Killer, just a different costume. Uh, Solo is well, I thought this series was actually pretty good. Interesting though, his main villain was um, Egghead, and Dum Dum Dugan was a supporting character. Sounds good. And I think the only reason why, now, I do have a theory, and some people agree with me, that the only reason why Marvel decided to give an ongoing series now is because his real name is James Bourne. Because Jason Bourne film came out last year, so they decided to sort of loosely tie into that by, really, by giving. A character who's got a similar name to him, James Bourne, a.k.a. Um, Solo, his own series. And it was great. Just too bad it got canceled with only five issues. Managed to last one more issue than his previous volume. 
uh, Prowler ended right after Clone Conspiracy. And this one published six issues before it got canceled. Yep, six. So I'm kind of like, okay, I don't get why. Now, the Prowler series for the six issues published wasn't bad. It was actually pretty good. Sean Ryan did a great job with the book. I just wish that Marvel would treat the, the Prowler character with a little more respect. I mean, this is only the second time he's had his own solo book. Last time he had a book was back in the early 90s. It was a pretty good series. He faced off against the evil versions. He faced off a guy who was a carbon copy of him, basically, but he was evil. But half the time, Marvel does jack squat with the Prowler and give him an ongoing series. I'm thinking, oh, that was a good idea. Too bad I got canceled with only six issues. I mean, come on. I mean, this is the second time Sean Ryan about the book, and the book didn't really last too long. I mean, he he did previously Nova last year, and that book got that book got relaunched. They're publishing eleven issues. I mean, come on, Marvel. It seems like whenever they bring over a writer from DC, they don't really have their books last for a good period of time. I would say the only one that's been a success has been Shaw Show. I mean, he's only had one title get canceled, and that was uh, that they got canceled after a quick period of time, and that was She-Hulk. The only title he's been on that's actually ended is Uncanny is uh, Uncanny Humans and Human. He's had three other titles get canceled. Though, in the case of Inhuman, I own all the issues of it, except for issue one. Excuse me, and the end was special. Excuse me, and that got canceled. It's only 14 issues, and this was a great series. Too bad early on it suffered through delays, but it was a great series. But, Shoal is doing a great job at Marvel. But when it comes to Robinson, it seems like whenever they give him a book, it seems like 15 issues seems like the limit for him. I mean, come on. This is the guy who did Starman. Starman. For almost seven years. He did a seven-year run on Starman. And yet, for some reason, apparently Marvel is not allowing him to be on the book for more than 15 issues. Well, with the exception of Fantastic Four, but that's because they restored the original number and give it four more issues before they cancel it. But come on, Marvel. Stop canceling books that he is on. It's ridiculous. Uh, look at Lemire. I mean, he's had, what, maybe two or three titles get canceled? I mean, he only tells that he, he's done that since been canceled. I mean, he's had all new Hawkeye. Um, let's see. Extraordinary X-Men. That's it. I mean, currently, the only book he's working on right now, he's working on Moon Knight... Uh, Thanos, and he is, uh, let's see, Thanos, Moon Knight, and Old Man Logan, which that, which that run is going to be ending pretty soon, and he's going he's gonna to leave the book at 324, but it's like, at least that book has been a big success, and like some of his other books, it's been barely successful. That's one thing odd, though, but when D Mar brings writers over D from DC, it seems like the only one that's been a success has been Charles Shaw and maybe Jeff Lemire. Robinson has barely had any success at Marvel, and Sean Ryan's got the worst treatment out of all of them. He's been on two books, and both of them, like, one got relaunched, number one, and re releasing 11 issues. The other one got canceled. And I'm like, then what, what's the point of giving him a book if you're going to cancel it? Allow him to actually sort of develop the character and actually have book last a good period of time. I mean, the only book I, I've read that he's been on prior to him coming with the Marvel was New Suicide Squad. And, and his run for that was like 17 issues. At least that was longer than 6 or 11. Come on, Marvel. Stop doing this to Sean Ryan. The guy is a good writer. It's just that they just don't give him a chance because they don't promote his books. I mean, that's one of the problems with some of the Marvel books nowadays is they don't get enough promotion. Yes. And just this week, we've had... Two titles get canceled. One I kind of knew about, which was Deadpool and the Mercs of Money. And the other one comes completely out of nowhere. I did not know the series was... Oh, there was one other time I got canceled last month. Excuse me. That I forgot to talk about. Spider-Woman. After only publishing 17 issues. I'm like, really? 17 issues. This fine. The book got just relaunched in 2015. After releasing 10 issues. And you cancel it. So combined, Dennis Hopeless only wrote 27 issues of Spider-Woman. I mean, come on. Was there a reason why the series had to end? No. 
the series ending just comes completely out of nowhere. I mean, heck, the biggest question of all for this why was never answered by the final issue. Who was the father of, of um, Jessica Drew's baby? That question was never answered. Either Hopeless didn't want to answer the question, or he just didn't care. Despite the fact that this question has been frequently asked since the start of the all-new, all-different world now. Though some theorize that the reason why the book got cancelled was because of Civil War II. That's a theory. But Civil War II had been over, and they had just continued on to... In the Civil War II time it only lasted about two issues, and it didn't really affect that all that much, except that... Uh, Jessica Drew got her friendship with uh, Carol Danvers was strained, though it was fixed with the next arc. But, yeah. But there were two titles that got canceled this month. Like I said, Deadpool and the Mercs of Money, and a title that I did not know was going to be canceled. I thought this was a great title, and gets canceled the publishing 15 issues in one annual, and that's Power Man Iron Fist. An awesome title. David Walker did a great job with the series. Heck, he brought back Alex Wilder, who had last been seen in the Avengers on the cover book, and he made him a, a, a villain for, for the last arc of the series. And I'm like, this was a good idea. I mean, the guy was trying to revive the pride in New York City, which I'm like, okay, this is interesting. And then he gets cured of the demon that possessing him. Apparently, that's how he came back to life. Okay. And then he gets defeated and... They close up shop after they have been back in business for since issue five. Yeah, they actually got back. Actually, yeah, it was issue five they got back together officially. And then, like ten issues later, series gets canceled. I'm like, okay, it was great the fact they brought the series back because I loved it. I own the first four issues, and and I'm like, why did this series get canceled? Oh, because oh Netflix, they they got separate ones, so let's just split. Uh, uh, an awesome duo up and give her own separate solo titles. Iron Fist is doing really well right now. It's only two issues in. It's really good. And it's got a great artist in the form, Mike Perkins. I'm not that all familiar with the writer, but I'm familiar with the artist, Mike Perkins. And I'm going to be seeing him again soon at MegaCon. Uh, I think he's going to be at, I think he's going to MegaCon Orlando. So I might, get, I might get an actual book for him to sign this time because last time I didn't get a book for him to sign. Yep. Uh, and of course, Luke Cage, yeah, he's keeping David Walker as a writer, so why not? The guy had been doing a great job writing him in the series, so give him a book. Um, yeah, and that's really it for the canceled titles that have been canceled so far this year. Um, some of these titles got canceled for really no reason. At least these titles have a good ending to them. Yeah. That's one thing I could praise for these uh, titles that got canceled. At least they had a good ending to them, at least a happy ending. It's just that some of these titles, like one person I talked to, think that Soul didn't need an ongoing series, needed a full killer. Yeah, I think these two characters didn't need one. It's like, they're they're over. Oh, there is one other title that's going to be canceled, I think this month. It's going to end this month. And that's Patsy Walker, a.k.a. Hellcat, at issue 17. I'm kind of like, Marvel, what the heck is your problem with cancel with, with with the way these titles are getting canceled? I mean, at least this one managed to last longer than the rest of these titles. At least this one actually managed to last a little more than these other titles did. In the case of all like all new X Men got canceled just last month, at least that one managed almost 19 issues. Oh, and the one thing big praise people can agree me on this of three X Men titles, uh, this one managed to keep its artist for his entire run. Unlike, let's say, in the case of Extreme X-Men, this one had like two or three artists, and it's kind of the same thing with Uncanny, where Greg Land didn't draw all the issues, which some people probably have with. But if you're going to pick an artist, have him stick for the whole run. Excuse me. At least Mark Bagley managed to stick for the whole run of All New X-Men Volume 2. And if you, if you take a head count of how many issues that the series has published, including the previous volume, the series has published 60 issues. And the series has been publishing since 2012. Yeah. 2012. Despite the fact it got relaunched in 2015, it's been publishing on a regular basis since, since 2012. It only went brief hiatus before I got restarted back number one. But technically, it's published 60 issues, which isn't too bad. It's a little bit more than Wolverine the Action, which was launched the previous the year before that. And that, that, and that ended after only publishing 
combined two volumes, uh, 54 issues. So basically, all new X Men has six more issues. So you gotta at least praise him for doing that. Mm -hmm. Uncanny, who had basically in 2015 had its 600 issue, and then it ended this volume with only publishing 19 issues. Okay, I don't know why. Couldn't they just keep the towel going? Just change the creative team and put a new roster on the group? Do that. That would have been great. Because I, I think Marvel just cannot live without Uncanny X-Men. Because this is one of those titles that Stan Lee started back in the 60s. That that Marvel just can't just let go of. Which is a good thing because Uncanny X-Men generally has been a good book over the years. I mean, yeah, the, the most recent volume has been hit or miss for some people. And... The Bendis volume had mixed reception at best. Um, Gillian, people thought his run was kind of boring. But some people think the, old, the only good writers that people, the only good writers that the X and the Kinexon series has had over the years, people like Chris Claremont, Ed Brubaker, um, I think even Scott Labdell. But that's been it. People don't talk about. Uh, people say Matt Fractional was extremely boring. I thought it was, it was pretty decent, just didn't care for Greg Land's artwork. Um, I don't really know why Marvel just gave him another X-Men book in the form of Weapon X. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's really it for the Marvel titles that ended so far this year. Um, that's all I can think of. I mean, yeah, Patsy Walker Hellcat is ending this month. I think that's the only title I can think of that's uh, the only art tale that's ending this month uh, from Marvel. Yeah, apparently Marvel loves slashing their titles. I mean, look at DC. DC Riverdale has going on for a year, and there's no sign that the books are getting canceled. No sign at all. Which is a good thing. Can't say the same thing from Marvel. Though Guardians of the Galaxy did just end its current volume. It's going to be restarted next month. As all new Guardians of the Galaxy with Gary Duggan. Yep, that's indeed true. Um, this one I I let this pass because well, just change the title and I think it's gonna be kind of the product numbering and plus it's the same lineup. Though one thing that's kind of bugging me about this upcoming relaunch, why isn't Angela and um, why why is the characters who's part of the Bendis run aside from the original aside from mo most of the original uh, Guardians, which is basically Star-Lord, Gamora, Groot, Rocket Raccoon, and Drax. So, you shrunk down the rest of five people. Okay, then what are you going to do with, uh, um, Angela? She doesn't have an ongoing series, and she just got back to the title after her series got canceled. And you're going to, can't, you're, you're not going to do anything with Angela? Okay, fine. Do something with her, like, make, make her an Avenger, that'd be interesting. But yeah, that's all I gotta say. Like, some of these titles really did not need to be canceled. Like Scarlet Witch, great title, but it had 15 issues. It th this series had like some of these series had tremendous potential. It's just that Marvel just doesn't care and just slashes these titles like crazy. Yeah, that's just my honest opinion. Marvel may have another opinion why these titles couldn't couldn't last too long. But yeah, so. That's it for this topic video. Uh, next one I'm planning on doing is what would I do? What would my lineup be for on Kenny X Men? Since the fact that the title has just ended, but I think the title should keep going. That's just my honest opinion. Because this title has been, I mean, Marvel has tried ending this title twice, and they always bring it back. I have a feeling it's coming back. Will it come back? I think so. It would just depend on what Marvel wants to do. Okay? But, yeah, that's it. So, see you next time.